EA Sports. What better way to start off the afternoon than with some football, huh? It's time to get things started here on the NFL on EA Sports. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime. Ball is teed up. Chris Boswell to do the honors. And we're off and running from Orlando. Here's a return from the seven. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. So here come the Bills for their opening drive. And leading them out, someone who's still the pride of Wyoming University and Fireball California. One of the league's best and biggest arms, Josh Allen. We've seen a lot of big arms come and go in the NFL. Few translate that talent. A player who can rip off a highlight real play with the pass and just as easy with the down in just about any situation. This one's a little touch pass forward to his man coming across. And he's brought down for a loss. Put in the wrong situation, you get hit in the mouth right behind the line of scrimmage. Here's second and 11. Short throws drops. This one's incomplete. Play action now. Allen. Pressure's there, and the steal closes on him. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. But to send him off the field, to really add that extra tone setter by backing him up with a sack, well, that's the cherry on top of that three and out. Oh, putting him in the spin cycle. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So the Steeler offense getting out there for its opening drive of the game. And bringing them out, an electrifying runner and a former first-round pick back in 2021, Justin Fields. Hey, it wasn't a banner game you had last week, stuff in the stat sheet. The Steelers with some very good field position as they get set first and ten. They'll start with a give to Harris. And they bring him down after he ran through him up to the 43. Well, every time, a nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of a defense. And he's officially in the enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Off play action, it's Fields. He throws a bullet to the center of the field. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. To break on the ball, get a finger on it, and foresee incompletion. This is Harris on second down. And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Shotgun snap to Fields. He's got his man. It's the rookie out of Colorado. And he's tackled after getting this to the opposing 46. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. Here we go. Fields out of the gun. And he goes down. The Bills got to him. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. And look at that. All that effort and success from the previous play, it is gone. Credit to this defense who snapped and cleared. That's part of this game. You've got to snap and clear. Give up a big play, come back and make a big one for yourself. And they do get home with that sack. On fourth down, the Steelers are going to turn to Cameron Johnston to punt this away. And this will bring a drive that had some promise to a disappointing end. He was only needed twice in last week's win, and he gets this one away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That one in the books is a 48-yard punt. 
And the Bills will take over possession. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Working from the gun, it's Allen. That's incomplete for the moment. We do have a flag down, but it might not be good news for their offense. That's usually where we see holding calls. He's going to make first down twice as tough. They're 20 from the marker to start things out. From the shotgun, it's Allen. That finds his man. It's Keon Coleman. And they take him down at the 24-yard line. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Create space, just find a way to get him the ball. Motion man sent left. Allen on third and short. It's tipped away and he's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. Finger on it and knock it away. Again, Daniel Whelan heading out for another punt. Got 44 yards on his first kick, Brock, and this one looks to be longer. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Steelers and Najee Harris making their return to the field. And he is the NFL leader in rushing yards as we work through November. Out of the shotgun, Fields. Throw came out right as the defense got to him. Once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. Taken in by Harris. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Instead of him just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. We're at the end of one in a defensive showdown that has lived up to its billing thus far. Hopefully no shortage of excitement coming up in the second. Back in a moment with more of the NFL on EA Sports. We're all queued up and ready to go. It's Steeler football. They have second and pretty long here. Here's Fields to throw. He's on the move. He's keeping it again. And he goes out close to that 45-yard line. It's a coordinator nuts. They do everything right. They win, and yet still QB makes something out of nothing. Fields on third. That's going to fall incomplete. Either way, he was breaking it up. Couldn't hang on to the pick, so hits the ground, brings up fourth down. And he simply dropped it. You've got to secure that pick before you think of anything else. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. Fields this at the 19. And he's able to get across the 25 before stepping out. That just misses the 50 mark, gets a 49-yard punt. And they're going to take over possession. Prime starts out with a first and 10. Now Allen off the play action. Down the middle, complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. First and 10, here's Allen. And oh, someone stepped in, it's intercepted. Dante Jackson takes it away, and the Steelers have it now as he makes the 20th interception of his career. Works through his progression, nobody available, and by the time he checked it down to the back, oh, you could almost see it coming. A defender there to intercept it. Because those defenders have clocks, too. I mean, we get so enamored talking about a quarterback's clock, but defenders do as well, and they know when that quarterback's holding the ball and holding the ball, likely a check down is coming. That is just smart defensive play. The Steelers back out on offense. Here we go. Fields on first down. Ooh, almost a throw that cost him. Defender had it in his hands, but he dropped it. It's incomplete. Got away with one right there. 
That was an easy pick dropped by the defense. Running behind center with Harris. And this won't amount to much. Back to throw. Here's Fields. He's going to push one deep. That's cut at the 25. And they will score. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. The Steelers parlay the interception into points. George Pickens, the touchdown. I love plays like this, Bronx. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty and simplicity, right? Yeah. You know, when you get your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find pay dirt. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown. Now Boswell on to send this away. Starting from the five. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Possession switching back to Buffalo as their offense heads out. That's ready to begin this drive, first and ten. First toe of the game for James Cook. And he's brought down by a collective effort there. Only one yard on the carry. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Throwing with a blitz on the way. That one is caught left side of the field. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills start to fight back with their first points of this game. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. You got to get that, that skill player down. Period. Yeah. End of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. That one splits the uprights. And we're all tied up. Bass now to kick this away. Return coming from the six. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Steelers and George Pickens set for this next possession. And that last drive, no answer for what they were doing through the air. Ten. here to start the drive and he gains ground to the 33 before being stopped Your offensive coordinator plays like that runs like that set the table for everything else in the playbook second down here another give to Harris the flags down as he stops looks like this one's on the offense Holding. so things getting a bit tougher following that penalty we got second and 15 a pistol snap. Fields. This is reeled in by Wilson. And he'll get this up close to the 40. The receiver's head even turns. He puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. A third down run with Harris. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. This defensive battle has reached the two-minute warning. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. First down throw for Fields. Dump off complete to his running back. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield. Looking to throw Fields. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Pass here, second down. Fields to throw it. On the move, headed right. Connection made on the cross. And they're going to haul him down a step before the 30, right at the 31. Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. First down from the 31. They give to Harris from the gun. And he's only able to power this board. It's an inside run that you see creative play action come off of later in the game. From the 28. Looking right, and he brings it in. 
And he's out a yard or two. Yeah, the line. Here we go. From the gun, they go with Harris. And he's able to power this forward. See how they approach this second down. Here we go, cut. Cut. Fields looking to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. That's what the best of them do. I mean, look around the league. These running backs want to get paid, right? They want theirs. Well, catch a ball like this, and trust me, you'll get yours. And they will score. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. The Steelers get some late points and the lead. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> I think yes on both of them, and that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. And the PAT. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Now Boswell on to send this away. That's going to be taken in at the 8. Find some space. He's past the 30. And they'll start this drive in good position. A little shy of the 40. So following the return, looks like somebody's shaken up. Trainers have to determine how severe this may be. All right. Excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and 10. Allen to throw. Quick slant to Samuel. And they'll make the stop up at the point. Second and three now. From the 46. Pass into the hands of Dalton Kincaid. One of the game's biggest plays right there as they get the markers reset. What a spot for a big play, huh, Brock? It has him well into the red zone now with first and ten. Slot man in motion right. On first down, Allen. This one's caught. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. Now just before the break, a timeout taken by the offense. And they can try for some points going into the break. Well, that's a pretty similar... The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. High percentage look for him here from the left half. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. For the possession. Well, Brock, barring the touchback, this kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. From his own end zone, here we go. And he's able to get it to the 21 as he goes down. That brings us to halftime. Just a four-point game thus far. Now we'll send you across town to the Creative Village in our studios for Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, we'll get back to you and Brock in a bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll begin up at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. And it's the Jets who have the lead in the second quarter. Brees Hall with a touchdown run. From there, we're off to check out another game. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Xavier Leggett. Two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Lastly, let's head to Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati to see what's happening with the Bengals. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Devontae Adams, a touchdown reception. It was a strong first half for Steelers quarterback Justin Fields. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. These two teams heading out of the tunnel. We're ready to get back to it. For the call of the second half, here is the great Kate T. Scott. Kate, these two teams making their final adjustments for the second half ahead. It's time to get back at it. For the call, let's rejoin Kate Scott and Brock Huer. Bass now to kick this away. Fielded at the seven. And look at this return. His return reaches that 34-yard line before he stopped. The home teams are headed back out there now, led by Justin Fields. 
just infuses everybody. A little more bounce in your step now, both in and out of the huddle. And you want to pay off your special teams that set you up for success. Hits the tight end on the corner route. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. Is that tight end in? One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Going to Harris to start the half. And the power play up the gut only results in two yards. Arms to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 42. Finds a man on the right side. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Third and four coming up now. Out of the shotgun. Fields. To the left sideline. Complete. And they will score. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. The Steelers grow the lead coming out of halftime. George Pickens the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. I should know this by now, Brock. I don't know if you're a Broadway guy, but there's a lot of names that belong on the playbill for this lead we've got here. But uh, but his name belongs on the marquee as he brings in his second touchdown grab. Now Boswell on to send this away. Here's a return from the seven. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Bills offense all set for their next drive. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. Looking from the gun, it's Allen. Connection made to Coleman. And he didn't get much time to secure it as he takes a shot. Stay on sketch and get a little something coming out of it, too. Tight end motioning right. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Coleman with the grab. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Play action now with Allen. He finds Kincaid. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gate of 28. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Allen now on first down. Here comes the screen. What a hit! He gets flattened to the ground. For second down, if they're in short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. To the air again, Allen. Caught along the left sideline, but he did not get both feet in. That's incomplete. Where the boundary is without looking. This receiver's not quite at that level yet. He lost track of where he was, and he brought it in, but out of bounds. Again, Allen to the air. Pass complete to Cook. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. Take advantage of third downs just like that. Now the shotgun give to Cook. And he's stopped out at the 16 after a small game. from the gun it's Allen connection made to Shakir and that tackle stops him after a solid game all plays on the table here for third and three three quarters in the books from this one it's Bills football they trail late but this game's still very much in reach Plays on the table here for third and three. Allen looking to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills now within one score in the fourth. It's a James Cook touchdown. 
All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. Here comes a big play. Bills going for two. The Bills are running up for a two-point conversion. Allen looking to throw this. And he's got it. That gets him two and puts them within a field goal here late. Critical two-point play there, Brock. The conversion puts them now in range of tying this sucker up with a field goal. Up and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Has this at the six. Some good work on that return, Brock. Gets this up to the 33. The home teams are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And as we're reminded of some of the highlights of this game, is touchdowns ranking quite high among them. We're going to see three of them here, and if you're scoring like that, Brock, it normally means you've had a pretty darn good game. Tight end going in motion here. A give left side. Here's Harris. And they love to see him fighting forward. Focusing entirely on that passing game. Here we go. From the 36. Cox on the left side. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. A strike for 23 yards. And he'll bring up a Pittsburgh first down. 10 from the 41. Inside handoff to Harris. And they sent it straight ahead, but the front stops him after a gain of three. Second down now, seven to go. Staying on the ground with Harris. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. You know, the elite running backs in this league, they don't just see what's right. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Don't jump. Ready? Harris once more. And they needed more than one defender there. Powerful runner stopped for just one yard. I'll come to the line here, second and nine. Here we go, go. Now we're running for the first time with Jalen Warren. Still has room inside the 15. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. The Steelers make it a nine-point advantage. This was a clear passing down, Brock, and the run surprised all of us, and there it goes for a touchdown. That's well said. Rewarded for going against the green. Boswell to add the PAT. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Now Boswell on to send this away. This return starts at the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Now we've got the Bills offense headed back to the field. And they're coming off an excellent series throwing the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So they'll get this drive started. First and ten. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Shakir with the grab. And he reaches the 35 before going out. Throwing here, Allen. Throws off the rip, but it's incomplete. Once they get one hand on the ball, with a pretty good beat on you, and can get two hands on it the next time. Allen throw on third and one. That's caught for the first. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Offense in the hurry up here. To throw again, it's Allen. He'll get this to Samuel. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. First down from the red zone. 
And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Allen going to throw again. Got it. And it's a gain of five as we've reached our two-minute warning. Third and a lone yard coming up. Allen. And this is cut for a score, and we are not done here yet. Slant route, as it does so many times every game we call, Brock. Paying dividends made that touchdown look a lot easier than it was. An uncontested release that close to the end zone spells disaster for a defense every time, Kate. Always going to be looking for that short little slant near the goal line. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Volley set up and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Returning it from the four. He stopped on the return at the 27. The home team's headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Now start the drive with Warren. It is charged towards the line. That's right around three yards. Warren once more. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Holding offense. Defense to the line for second down. Here we go. Wow, they're going to pass it here. An all around tough play for him. Took a shot. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Looking to throw. Bails out of the pocket quick. And that catch is made down the right sideline. Great effort there. Well, most drives should end right there, but they beat the defense and convert on third and 17. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Shotgun handoff to Warren. And he drives that front backward on a gain of four. Buffalo calls it second time out of the half. Second and six coming up here. Motioning the tight end now. On second down, Warren works his way to the 35. And he's finally brought down at the 33. Now the Bills use their third and final timeout. All at the 33 for first down. They'll go again with Warren. And he's short of the first after a mild gain. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. A give left side to Warren. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Trying to get outside here with Warren. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. We take a break from his regularly scheduled programming of pass coverage duties to see him add in a little contribution in the run support. And his teammates, you can just see the body language. A little nod, a little grin. They'll welcome the reinforcements every time. So here's Chris Boswell in a high-pressure spot. It's from the right hash, 46 yards. The kick is good! He got it! And now their lead will push out beyond the field goal. So make a check in the win column for the Steelers. And this is exactly how they wanted to go into that bye week, partner, with a victory and some positives to build on in that nice extra time off.
So for my partner Brock Heward and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott saying this has been the NFL on EA Sports. The Steelers are winners as we say so long from Orlando.